Okay, guys, uh, I wanted to go over the, the commutator and, and the brush. It, it's very important that it, this is built in a, in a sturdy fashion and the brush is supposed to hold, um, it's not, it can be a flimsy light brush that it's supposed to, to work with low amperage. This is supposed to work with up to, uh, I would say, calculate it uh, uh, for, for like 8, 10 amps, um, but still. Uh, it's, it's not because of the input, but it's because of the back EMF. And, and the brush should be, I I'm just had to replace the brush because the other one was kind of worn out. The spring, this is from a starter motor of, of a Honda motorcycle. And the starter motors, I don't know if it's for you that are not familiar with it, they, they handle very high amperage. And that's the reason why I, I, I made a choice of this. Why? Because the mica is built is very strong. And the brushes, as you can see, the wire is very strong. I had to do some uh, transformation here with an extension for the wire. Now, the commutator, as you can see, it's got some um, overtime. It's been built from like 10 years ago. And it's been running fine. Uh, it's got little uh, arcing from the, uh, but the but the the contacts are well. I'm gonna retouch all the welding spots, the soldering around it, and I replace the brush. It, this is the heart of your system. And eventually, I do want to get involved in 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 a in a solid state uh, with with a fed switching, which is beautiful no noise nothing beautiful but in the meantime in order to to get the the, the right stuff here and uh, dealing with high amperage you don't want to have to be replacing every day two three four or eight uh, mosfets because they keep blowing off and that's a lot of work and a lot of money because if you keep adding up you have to store bags of mosfets here it's ridiculous this is the way to go first, to get it running fine. And once that we get it smooth with the less uh, EMF, we've got the right capacitors to work with our system. So we get the, the, the we reduce the, the bag EMF and the arcing and all that. We tune our system and it's fine. Then we can move into solid state. But in the meantime, this is not due to the arc and the Tesla arc and, and some kind of magic. This is just contacts. If they don't do the right contacts here, the field will collapse in the middle of a sequence and, and that kills your output. Right now, I, I was having a 65 volts AC output and at certain points, and it was shimmering light. It was going down and went to 50, 55, 58, but it, it didn't go back to 65, which I, it did it, and I had it recorded. So I took it apart, and uh, I have done it in, in a way that this has got a, a ball bearing inside there, you can see that, uh, and, and that mounts very tight on this uh, fixed shaft. And, and it goes here and then it's got a, a thread I did the, I built this piece in my uh, lathe and it goes inside the commutator very tight and it comes to the outside and then I build this uh, rig here with a bolt and a knot in order that I can adjust the, uh, I can pull the the brush and give it more tension towards the commutator. Now, um, and also adjustments for it. I'm not happy with it. I'm gonna be moving to a different system very soon, which I'm going to make the plans and I'm gonna show it in on online uh, on the forum. Uh, but right now, this is very important to know. And 
uh, yeah, it's been working so far. It's been a, an old friend. It's been very good. Also, the jumpers. The jumpers you should use on the bolts. They, they cannot be flimsy either. They got to be very tight and build them as, as heavy, as coarse wire as you can put them in here because they get, normally they get hot in here because of the arcing on, on all, in, in all the testing that you're going to do. So it, it is, it's got to be very tight. If, if you got to lose contact, that's going to burn right there on the spot. If you're dealing with 60 volts and, and 10 amps or 8, 8 amps, it's going to melt it. Okay, so everything, all the contacts should be very strong. And these, uh, like I'm saying, these I got it from a starter motor of a Honda CBR uh, 900 uh, RR. And it's an old Honda it's a motorcycle. It's from the 90s, late 90s. From the 2000s, I believe, early 2000s. And um, yeah, the starter motor is a very strong, the, it's got the brushes and all that. The, it came with the, with the, I'm gonna show it to you. It, it came with a, this is the, the commutator it came in. And this is all sunk in epoxy, and I, it's very hard to take it off with all the contacts uh, uh, intact. This has got 32 contact, but they are very fine. And this is the way that it ran into the into this uh, brush system. But I only use the brush out of the motor, and uh, and it works fine. It works fine. Uh, these I got it from um, an alternator that I cut the shaft. And I redo the shaft. I had to redo better the shaft. The way I'm hooking it with the motor is with the Dremel type of uh, hook with a chalk, with a Dremel tool into the motor. And I got the same um, little chalk adapters in different sizes that you add in there. I had to modify uh, a little bit of it. But you, you will... Uh, I had to buy the, the male and female thread, the Dremel female thread, so I can use the same fitting as a Dremel has and build this piece. I mean, it's not perfect. The other system I'm going to do is based on a bigger three inch um, copper uh, tubing. And, and the brushes are going to be sweeping from the center to the outside. So it no matter that the brush gets worn out, it, it's gonna by centrifugal forces, it's gonna keep on pushing it. All right, guys. Uh, I hope this is helpful, and I hopefully get back to run so I can do the demo video. Thanks.